Hey guys, what is up? It's Arcade Code here, and welcome back for some more Kerbal Space Program. So, uh, last episode we got oh, the Polo Shirt 1.0 orbiting our uh, our lovely planet over here. Now, uh, you might notice that my orbit isn't perfect, but that's just fine. So, we're gonna be doing a, a new a new um, a new project today, and I have yet to decide what it is. So, um. Well, let's just think of the possibilities. We could make a sort of satellite where we launch something into space and then uh, leave it behind and, and come back down. Or we could be orbiting some more, but that we kind of already did. I think I want to go with the satellite idea. So, let's see. Let's just get again the command pod 1.0, because MK1, because it's a very good one to use uh, for your beginning rockets, and I'm not a very good expert yet. So, we want to have our command pod, and I think on top of that, we're going to be having our satellite. So I never made a satellite before, and I never actually let anything into space without me. So I am quite, um, well, it's quite new to me, so I have no idea how it's going to go along. Let's see, we probably want a fuel tank below us. Uh, what we can do is uh, I'm gonna add the satellite on top and the satellite will need all sorts of crazy stuff so the micro node looks like a good thing or maybe the rock max UMATS multi-point connector hmm. or maybe could oh I, I have a pretty good idea um, this can be our prototype kind of um, thing just to prove that we can throw stuff in the air uh, I did I, I want to um, detach this thing. Well, no, okay, it's fine. Uh, let's detach this one, add a decoupler, and let's add the Rockmax Knife. Oh, that's way too small. Maybe the. Oh, that's way too big. Wow. I have to. F okay, yeah, let's add this guy on. And let's make a sort of. Um, actually, if we add this one first. Yeah, that's more like it. Let's make a sort of a um, kind of a, a how can I explain this? A sort of useless and like still cool, meshy looking uh, satellite. So what we need are battery parts. That's a big battery pack. We want something slightly smaller, which we can just attach to the side. And let's have two of them. Oh yes, I remember. We actually have something pretty useful called um, symmetry mode, like so. And we want to add some solar panels because obviously that's the way uh, things work. So that's a thermi thermoelectric. Um, oh, that's nice. It this electric simple power generator can provide consistent stable power for decades. Let's add that. Oh, that's really nice. That that will give us like a lot of energy for a long time. Let's try adding one on top. Here you go. And uh, as well as some um, solar panels because they're just cool. I mean, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be anything without a without a pair of uh, solar panels. So let's rotate this. Good thing I learned how to do that. And uh, let's add two of those, like so. Ah, uh, yeah, this is funky, but oh yeah, anyway. Oh yeah. So that's gonna be our satellite. Let's add something useful to it, such as. A communitron right on top, and uh, hmm, a double C accelerometer, accelerometer, and as well as a press mat barometer. So this thing is going to be a weather, a weather kind of a uh, satellite. Is it? Yes, it is a satellite. We just want to put it in orbit, so we'll have to have this will be our orbit kind of module, which will go in orbit and then let stuff fall down. Then we need a something to go in uh, sky high. So, oh, uh, whoops! And remembered, we do need a, an engine. So we will use the one with the vectoring force to it, like so. And then underneath. We will just add a fuel tank, and since, uh, just for today, since I just want to make this a quick job, um, 
I really shouldn't, but whatever. We are just going to add some solid fuel thrusters because it's, they're always cool. Actually, they're not that bad. Um, not thrusters, but um, I do want a vectoring here. The booster, and we can add a booster on each side, and we're going to be using some hydraulic detachment system because they look a bit more. They just look neat and uh, go in proportion and the rocket max b max whatever if it's willing to stay on there and uh and luckily for me it's not gonna work so let's take these off and instead choose the radial decouplers they always work out for me probably because it's supposed to be radial and the other ones weren't so i'm still having trouble getting these to align properly but there is a fix which uh it's pretty handy. It's just to put it somewhere. Okay, it's not even working anymore. Let's just junk it and try to grab it again. Okay, let's hope I can get this on right. Nope. Okay, and then take it off and here you go. Make it a bit lower. Like so. Oops. Okay, this is not going to work out. I'm going to get frustrated. Okay, whatever. That's perfect. We are going to be adding some fins and other useful um, aerodynamic stuff. Uh, like these winglets on either side of these boosters and some more on this um, on the orbiting docking orbiting thing, which is going to detach this part and I hope I'm getting everything in the right order I will have to um, I will have to remember to do this one correctly or everything might just be a disaster I'm gonna add these two here and uh, these two here as well as some more over here just to be safe so we have our two boosters we also want this bottom one to be at the same time we take the boosters off then we can okay so then we can take this off and start this engine. Then this one will dismount. And then we want this one to dismount here, and this one. To this one here. So what will happen? We will have our boosters and our middle engine to go lift us up. Then once the boosters are out of fuel, we just take them out. When this, these two guys are out of fuel, we can just uh, activate these two. Then once we're in orbit. We can just detach our satellite, which I hope will work, and then finally we can detach our uh, our or well, we can detach this the satellite and then come back and detach this, which I haven't put parachutes on. So I'm just going to add a few parachutes. Perfect. Let's call this guy the uh, satellite maniac satellite maniac let's just call it like that it's a really bad name but I couldn't think of anything better for now so let's begin our mission setting off this uh, weather forecast satellite into uh, into what uh, is essentially space and orbiting this uh, pretty much empty world there is uh, only just us on here and I forgot something crucial which is holding our rocket up so I have to get up there very quickly, turn on my SAS to stay on course, and as you can see solid fuel burns off really quickly and isn't all that powerful, but for the purpose of us it's going to be good. Now I forgot to put an SAS module and this is really bad, but I have to do it without, I'm not going to add one now, let's just see if I manage to do this all manually, which is not that bad, it's just quite hard. Um, yeah, it's just I just need to pay attention to what I'm doing, which is quite hard if you're actually recording. I don't know if you guys know, but recording and uh, commentating on what you're doing at the moment is a lot harder to do than if you are um, not having to speak. So here you go, just got rid of my boosters, and now here you go, we're having the same problem again. So definitely need some A SAS. What I'm gonna try to do is hopefully come back up. My 
my speed is still going up, actually. So let's try to decelerate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so I'm going at. Okay, so I'm going to set this as my um, orbiting angle, which is going to give us a very nice orbiting angle. Maybe like, maybe it's uh, perfect. All right, we're starting to lose speed, and now we're descending. This is pretty bad. I am terrible at rocket maneuvering. But uh, I did just get this uh, game today, to be honest. I did play the demo yesterday, and that's practically all I did. So, uh, I, I'm, I don't consider myself bad at this game at just yet, since I only played it for a bit. Now, I just try something. I'm almost out of liquid fuel anyway, and I just did something stupid, which is uh, to have detached my satellite already. Uh, I can probably try to shake it off. Here you go. Uh, so, we're just going to get down here and hope we survive. Our rocket is just clinging onto us um, because it's pushing against us. Uh, the physics seem to be bugged. Ah, here you go. So, it is just going to fly around for fun now. And we should make it pretty safely. Let's hope. As you can see, we have two of these parachutes this time, which is uh, pretty nice as well. And um, we are going to land in water, apparently. Just going to speed it up a little. Time warp. Okay. And as soon as we hit uh, one kilometer, I am going to start speeding down the time warp. And here you go. We should land safely with no explosion and we're going to fix our ship and try sending this um, the satellite on orbit which uh, obviously all satellites aren't in orbit because that's the definition of satellite so just going to time warp ourselves down um, just look from inside as a nice eye view and just look what's happening up there ooh it's cool grey anyhow 250 meters to go and see if we're safe and I'm just going to end it now actually because um, the reason why I stopped it now is I didn't want to have and to go and uh, and uh, delete my uh, landing because you have to do so now I do want to go to the end flight actually and go to vehicle assembly building to actually change up our build a little um, so we actually lost control so we're going to detach this part and add in an SAS module and add some on top of the boosters as well that should help pretty well add a symmetry perfect uh, we can even add some RV thrusters whatever they are supposed to do um, I don't know how to use them but I'm going to add them anyway what else can we add? Um, probably some more wings. Let's add these. They look cool. They really do look cool. Like one here. Uh, that doesn't work. Oh well. Maybe uh, here. And on the other side as well. Here you go. If I can get it straight. Awesome. So our satellite maniac is done. Let's save it and launch it again. Let's hope this time I managed to get it at least into space and orbiting and uh, yeah I'll be right back as soon as it's done loading. Alright so uh, we finished loading the world and I forgot to put the support things again so without any further ado let's thrust add a SAS and we actually do have SAS now and you can see everything is just cruising around trying to keep us nice and stable and apparently we're not we're quite a wonky ship uh, but that doesn't really matter what we're trying to do is go put this um, very cheap satellite on orbit and the reason why we have such a bad ship is probably because uh, the people who pay us the weather forecasters didn't have all that much money to go put this uh, weather forecast satellite and that is why we have uh, a pretty primitive ship as I say that, we just explode. That is just great. So we have our ship right here. And uh, the satellite was actually more expensive than the ship. I have no idea if that's true, but let's just pretend. We can see how nice uh, <laughs> a lighter trail it makes. It's one like one of those crashing planes, which essentially it is a crashing plane. 
So uh, let's see what it ha what happens with it. I think we crash because of the wobbling. So we can just open up our things and okay, let's just uh, we don't need to watch this again. End the flight and edit it for again. So apparently it seems like a third time lucky, you know. Uh, you have to, you know it seems like it's it is actually going to be the case since every time I try again it works. So uh there you go. Just grab this guy like so and do the same on the opposite side somewhere here and let's have a similar kind of setup like so I hope this works uh, I hope supposed to happen all right. all right so let's save the satellite maniac and launch for the third time hopefully it's going to work this time and we're going to go straight in course set this satellite into space and be totally ready for our next launch. Now I forgot again to put the support things so I'm going to launch without any further ado. And uh, yeah, so already a lot less wonky, you can see it's not actually splitting over here so hopefully nothing will break. It looks like this is quite, you know, and un insecure because of the SES module and the uh, splitting machine thing but that is just fine all right so again trying to put something in orbit but this time we have to come back and just leave an unmanned satellite into space uh, the thing I'm concerned about is that we will have to keep this part on the ground whilst this stays in space and uh, I should probably have done some research on how to put unmanned stuff in space since I have no idea how. And that's a problem. So as you can see we just lost our thruster so we just have to go on on our own which is going to be slightly tricky since I don't know if we're gonna have enough fuel. But it's a lot more maneuverable. I think that's thanks to the to these things right here. They do look like they would help. Anyway we're just heading towards the moon but that's not where we're going though. Um, let's check our map and we are starting to form a sort of orbit uh, we do need a lot more thrust though um, we have only a bit of fuel I hope this is gonna last enough to be able to create ourselves a nice little orbit now in order to get uh, we first want to get to a decent height so let's see he is right now at a altitude of 2 to 3,000 and we are at 27,000 let's go a bit higher so what I'm gonna do is increase my velocity this way in order to get a faster a bigger better orbit because uh, this is just the way physics works and uh, if you don't understand you just have to uh, learn physics now I do have a problem right here and we are out of fuel uh, and we are not forming an orbit yet. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, since we do have, uh, well, we're going to, we're putting the satellite eyes for other people, right? And they don't really know how long it's gonna stay. So we're just gonna say, yep, it's on orbit, trust me. And uh, it's just gonna come crashing down. See, now it says it's some debris, but it's not. So let's hope we manage to get back down. Like, to go back down, what I'll do is turn off my SAS and and like detach myself towards the ground. That should give me enough thrust to be able to come back down. And I should have put some emergency thrusters on there. Anyway, here you go. And I am heading downwards now. Uh, well, not really. I am still orbiting. So, let's... I am actually in warp capabilities. Uh, no, wrong button. So, let's throttle down and warp through this whole thing so as you can see if I look at my map not my map, my not map I I, I think I lost track of my of uh, the satellite now which is bad if we look at the map we are heading down we still have a <coughs> we still have our polo shirt 1.0 going which is very nice and we are just going 
straight down. I think we're going down. Yes, we definitely are going down. So if I just uh, do some uh, time warping, we can see that we're just going to land in the sea. Um, our satellite also didn't quite make it. And now we're just entering the atmosphere. I never asked to open my parachutes, but that's just fine. Um, I hope they're not going to rip. Let's just check our map. And we can see that, yeah, we... we uh, our, the rest just burned out in space. We just lost everything. All what's left is our... is ourselves. Which is nice. At least we survived. Um, so, yeah. That was a half successful mission. We got the satellite into space uh, in time to tell there was a a meteor shower coming. Uh, that's precisely what the weather forecast was. It was going to be a meteor shower just above um, this country in uh, in uh, on this planet, and uh, then just came back crashing down and was consumed inside the atmosphere due to its. Uh, incredibly high speed anyway uh, we're just coming down and I'm not gonna watch this any longer just end the flight we just lost everything that was there and go inside our assembly building for maybe a more not the launch well actually I think this was almost a success we got the satellite in space for a bit now I am kind of disappointed and I really do want to get a satellite in space so I think the satellite maniac was a failure so let's just put an F at the end in brackets so that means failure um, I hope I don't have two of them now because that might happen see I have two of them so let's just delete the old one now we can just go and make a new set, uh, a new one for the satellite because we still have this mission, bring a satellite onto onto the into space. So this is not a good cockpit to choose. Sorry, I am going to make. Uh, actually, I am going to choose this one, and I'm going to do a slightly different approach this time. We're going to have our main sort of space in space travel machine with a nuclear rocket motor because it's just so much better have a decoupler underneath and then have our liftoff mechanism which is going to be very similar to our polo shirt we could even just take the polo shirt and uh, get him to bring the satellite into space uh, it would be a very nice way to do it as well now I am just going to do it like so and have a three-way kind of rocket thing. Actually that won't work. I do need a full way for it to work at um, an appropriate uh, rate. So otherwise it's going to start leaning in all sorts of crazy directions. Now the best way of doing this is to start off two-way and then go back to three-way. So I am going to add this right here. Now add in the fuel tanks on the side just like we did with the polo shirt 1.0 and again you can just snap it and then snap it back on all right so um, here I am and uh, add in another maybe smaller fuel tank underneath maybe because we don't need all that much fuel do we well actually just to be on the safe side let's add another fuel tank like so now the reason I am adding uh, four of them is because we are going to be bringing quite a substantial amount of mass on in, in on orbit essentially um, so we do need some bigger better stuff so now out no sorry not control out yeah click to copy and paste where you need it uh, like so and what we can do is actually make something called asparagus uh, I think this is how we're going to do it. So, these fuel into these, and then this one fuels into this. So, they will come up first, and then they will. So, we have all engines should first be turned on. Obviously, this one will be later. Then, we have detaching, decoupling. Uh, let's see, is it the these ones? Uh, yeah, this one. If I can manage to grab it. 
and then these two, yeah. Perfect, so I can delete this one actually. And then we can, when we run out, we can just decouple and start our other engine. Now, for the actual satellite, we're going to be using the awesome manifold deployment machine thing. We only need one, so we can take off symmetry and put it on top. This way we have an awesome way of detaching our stuff. We can add in this guy right here, and it's not gonna work out for us, is it? I hope this works. I am going to add a stage. This is going to be the... Um, right here. Actually, I need it. Uh, like so. It, which one is this? Yeah, like so. I think so. We run out. We can, before we run out of fuel, we probably want to... Yeah, I guess it'll be fine. I hope this works. And we're just going to build ourselves a small satellite for these people who asked us to put it. Actually, this is a really bad design. I am just going to use the... Yeah, I guess this, is, this was fine. But I need to find a better base. And what I'm gonna use is uh, probably uh, a structure. Maybe I can use this guy. Big thing. Let's try to attach it somewhere. Which we can. And then grab it and try to attach it on here. This is not gonna work out for me, is it? Okay, this doesn't work. Um what is this? Nope. Hmm. Maybe a plate might work out for us pretty well. Uh, rotate it in the right angle. I don't know my rotation keys. Here you go. And stick it on there appropriately. So, uh, remember if it's not sticking where you need it, stick it somewhere, grab it, and try to stick it back. Now, this is still not working. Let's just try something else. Maybe turn this rotation. Rotation? Is it gonna rotate for us how we want it? Uh, I am having a lot of trouble with this. Um, I'm going to try, maybe this will work better radial one and add a uh, one of these this might work there you go and add on whatever we need to be on there now I just want to make sure it's really nice yeah it is going to add a bit of drag and this is bad but let's hope it's work that's all I can say just let's hope it works so we need some sign stuff we need some electricity stuff which we're going to be using the uh gigantor because they look pretty cool and let's have another one as well keep on pressing the wrong button here and batteries obviously we can't go anywhere without batteries let's add the bigger the bigger duty batteries so since we lost our all one we have to give them back a better one they did pay for something which we just lost somewhere into space, which isn't ideal. And some accelerometers. So this one is slightly better. Let's save this as the uh, as the satellite. If I can say satellite launcher, satellite launcher, um, satellite launcher. Satellite launcher, that's perfect. Perfect name. Save it and launch it. So, launching is going to be hard, but it's probably worthwhile. Um, wow, if, if it doesn't work this time, I think I'll have to call it a day and start a new mission uh, another day to, um, to get some interesting stuff going. So, I forgot to do something which was a pretty crucial part of all of this and which was um these are right these are right i guess i which one is this right this is not what we wanted we want to add one here and drag this one lower now we want to add <coughs> some support 
and we can actually add on Sintro. And another one right here. Not quite per perfectly symmetrical, but it doesn't matter. Save and launch. Now, this should work off for us perfectly. We're going to get this rocket into space. Um, hoping that I didn't mess this up. And I did. So these four need to be rung down over here. If I, if I can drag them down. Now I'm just going to throttle up and start the engines. Perfect. Turn on my SAS, which I forgot to add. Oh god. Okay. Um, this is very hard. I forgot to add the SAS, and I've got a lot and a lot of drag on this um, on this satellite. And as you can see, we start to add a completely wrong course. So I need to try to adjust it so that we don't crash. And if I do crash, guys, I'm very sorry, but I'll have to stop it there. And uh, I'm very sorry guys, but I'll have to stop it there. Uh, I am going to crash. Um, so this episode we might not accomplish anything great. Apart from uh, some nice scientific testing of uh, different rocket ones. Let's just try... S okay, that was a very bad idea. All what's left to us is a nuclear powered rocket, which is pretty cool actually. Let's at least try to sell ourselves. Okay, now we didn't make it. Alright guys, so... Mission... Was a total failure. We just lost uh, a fellow... Fellow, uh... Kerblin, which I don't even know his name of. He never told me. Because, um... Uh, I wasn't bothered looking on the bottom right. Anyhow, we just, um... We just... Launched our rocket, which didn't even go into space. Uh, this is pretty bad, guys. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like these videos and uh, uh, make sure to leave a comment to what kind of mission you want me to do next. I'll probably redo a satellite one uh, next time where I'll be doing some bit of training uh, in between just to get my uh, skills a bit better, especially uh, after the decoupling stages. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys later for some more awesome gaming related videos.